here as soon as I could. They weren't able to tell me much. Possible concussion. Possible fracture of the tibia. I think she said tibia, something like that. They're working on her now. No, I couldn't. He's unconscious or semi-conscious or doped up or something. Probably because of... No, not that kind of dope. Or not that I know of. Oh, Lord, I hope not. <laughs> I don't think the police were involved. They weren't. Apparently, they were not. <laughs> yes, I will. No need to get on a plane just yet. Of course, whenever I know anything, I'm sure he's going to be just fine. Don't fret if you can help it. You must be Deborah. And you are? Jace. And you know my grandson? Yep. Were you also in the accident? Oh, no, just him and a light pole. Were you there or did you see what happened? Right behind him. Those dreadful scooters whizzing along everywhere. No helmets, sometimes not even shoes. I'm surprised you're not all in the hospital. Not so far. Tell me your name again. Jace. Short for Jason. No, it's a J and a C pushed together. Well, you shouldn't ride those crazy things. Cars have accidents, do. Cars have seat belts and airbags, and if you get in an accident, you... Oh, never mind, it's too late to worry about that now. What's done is done. I just want to get him out of here. Take him home and see he's properly looked after. Then we'll get rid of that dreadful scooter. Good luck with that. What do you mean? He loves that thing. He's, he's more upset he got banged up than him. We call him Scooter sometimes. We who? Friends. Well, you can tell his friends his scootering days are over as long as he's with me. I think he's going to want to come home with me. Certainly not. What do you mean? That's where he lives. With you. You're his roommate. Boyfriend. <laughs> So, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Is he? Sure! <laughs> Since when? Since kindergarten, is it that you're Sam? Really? Really? You didn't know. I did not. You couldn't tell. How could I tell? By paying attention. To what? <laughs> he doesn't. I don't know. I mean, he likes cars, <laughs> and ball games, and hard rock. You know, regular boy things. Yes, ma'am. He does like boy things. <laughs> Don't you dare smirk at me. That was not a double entendre. I will not have what I say be turned into true jokes. Sorry. I don't understand why I couldn't tell. I used to have infallible gaydar. <laughs> we don't really say that. Well, excuse me for being from a different time. I'm a broad-minded person, and I'm trying to stay abreast. I truly am. But something has gone off the rails today. It seems to me, truly, that your whole generation is messed up. Your whole body covered in tattoos or pears, or spatted, or stapled on your cell phones day and night. All these multiple genders and sex changes. Hey, you raised the people who raised us. Are you saying this is my fault? It's not anybody's fault. I think we're pretty great sex changes at all. There is nothing great about wanting to be a girl when you were born with a penis. <laughs> Pardon my French. <laughs> hey. You can't say happiness without saying penis. <laughs> Thank you for ruining happiness for me. <laughs> that is not the point. You're confusing what used to 
be clear. And you know why? Because you have no ambition beyond video games and social media. And don't you dare say, OK, Boomer, to me. <laughs> I'm proud of my generation. We didn't walk around hunched over our phones all day. You would have if you had. I don't think so. We were too busy protesting the war, fighting for civil rights and women's rights, fighting for gay rights. You have no idea how much you owe people my age. What are you laying into me for? Because you're disrespectful. All of you disrespectful and dismissive. As if I don't matter. Or hardly even exist. You should have stood up when I entered. You should have shook my hand when I held it out. Shaken. <laughs> yes. I should have. He, uh, he told me he liked to correct people. <laughs> I was a teacher for a thousand years. It's a hard habit to break. What grade? Middle school. <laughs> no wonder you hate kids. <laughs> I don't hate you. I don't hate anybody. It's just also everything's changing so fast. I'm sorry, but they, as a singular pronoun, <laughs> lands on my ears like fingernails on a chalkboard. I can't help it. I've tried, I'm trying, but I can't help it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize. I'm just upset about Adam. Dang, you, <laughs> you actually love him. Oh, for heaven's sakes, of course I love him. Did you think I don't? I didn't know. Does he think I don't? He doesn't say much about it. He said enough that you knew who I was when I came in. He said enough that I know he had a rough time at home. Yes, sometimes. Not because we don't love him. We're a very loving family. But he and his dad sometimes, well. Because he's gay? I told you there were no obvious signs. How could we know? Ask. I wouldn't ask my grandson straight out if he were gay. That's absurd. You asked me. You hinted. Didn't he? Not that I noticed. You weren't paying attention. Did he date girls? He had girlfriends. Friends. There were girls. <laughs> we thought it was dating. You don't just ask, and he didn't say. I don't know why he didn't tell us. Did he think we wouldn't love him anymore? I don't know. Ask him. Then he'll know I know. Somebody has to say something sometime. Does he want us to know? I don't know. Ask, ask him. him. Don't they say, don't ask, don't tell? I don't think the army is the best place to look for advice. <laughs> <laughs> what a sweet boy. Why wouldn't he just tell us? Maybe because he and his dad sometimes already perfect. I'm glad to hear that. Well, I'm going to go 
check on it. See if there's any news. I'd like to take him home to camp with me. Just for a few days, if it's all right, if he wants to. I guess I can manage a couple days. I'd like to get to know him again. I'll have to figure out how to go about it. Pay attention. That's about it. This conversation. Pleasure. What are the J and C for? My own name. And that was? Joan Carroll. Thank you.